as well the other quad park two pipers two standards and the union flag coming out in front of the players yeah it's, it's lovely to see chairman's on the field as well mr tony platten he's following down the center of the guards and both sides come inside them as we give the ceremony yeah. live players waving to the fans second think the way he does things now early on in the game balls headed on from Nathan Buddle and now comes to Lemton shot on the edge of the air it's a good hit and it's just wide of the target no role we've seen in previous few games when we concede we're really going to struggle JJ O'Donnell lost the ball forward there, looking for Cody McEwen, he can't find him, but Lewis McNall can bring the ball down. Can Blythe get forward for the first time today? Lewis McNall, he's looking, McEwen's open, McNall's still going, he's running towards goal, McNall, he's done well, he plays it back, uh, JJ O'Donnell, who sends it away for Nicky Devidix. Devidix has the ball, crosses it over the top, it's floated in, it's bubbling around in the area. <laughs> McNall drops it back, there's the shot from Little goes all the way back to Jordan Watson. This is good from Bly. This is the best it's been so far this game. Little crosses the ball in. It's well defended. Bly Sportens have a throw in. Inside the Lemon Hall. Best move of the game from uh, Bly. Absolutely. Got the Bly fans on their feet. Really encouraging. Just need to be more sustained in that pressure. I tell you what, Lewis now driving it towards the Lemon sure defence there. Really. I didn't realise he had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really worried a few of the, the Lemon back four there. He's always played forward. He's done well, now battled his man off and finds Joe Nicky's going to shoot on the edge of the area and it's taken off at wide it's still goal this year ball's played on the right hand side with Joe Parker Joe Parker travelling towards the penalty area he hits it left foot and it's bubbled Blythe trying to clear it Parker has the shot off it's well saved from Alex Mitchell couldn't find him and Lemon now able to come away with the ball lofted forward Nathan Buttle does really well to win it and all the way to J.J. O'Donnell, J.J. O'Donnell controls it really well, plays inside for Corey McEwen, Corey McEwen turns, plays it back for J.J. O'Donnell, J.J. O'Donnell hits a shot for Blythe, comes across oh. goal and into the hands of Jake Weaver. Lemon still have the ball on his left hand side, played there from Joe Clark, he lofts it forward, flicked on there, now Turner, just coming in the area for Lemon and Turner, travelling forward, he's still got the ball, Turner has got the shot off, it's well defended. From Toby Lees, it's blocked again and it's come off the Blythe man. I'm not quite sure. I think it might have been Nathan Buddle. Buddle travelling with the ball now, looking for options. He's going to dink the ball forward for Corey McEwen. Nice touch from McEwen. Corey McEwen coming forward for Bryce Martins. Finds McNall near the other. McNall has a shot. Oh, Great save. save. Great save from Jay Weaver. Lewis McNall controlled the ball right foot. He hit it left footed. And Weaver just punches it over the top of the crossbar. Bryce Martins have a corner. Great opportunity for Blythe. Had a couple of bacons already. Free kick Lemon and Loft over at the penalty area. It's flicked on and uh, it was a head out. It's just gone miles wide of the target from Joe Clark. And Lemon have a throw in. It's flicked on there. Nicky Devidix does well. Turns. Nicky Devidix on the edge of the, the penalty area. Plays a back through for Little. Dropped off from McEwen. Now it's Hickey. Back from McNall. Good touch back to uh, McEwen. McEwen inside for Jordan Hickey. Jordan Hickey does well. Plays in for JJ O'Donnell. Bryce Spartans on the attack now. JJ O'Donnell still with the ball for Blythe sends it wide for Lewis McNall McNall's going to cross the ball in it's not a bad ball it comes away right there's a oh, shot oh, oh Paul from Dom Tia fantastic play from the Halifax Loney ball's played flicked on again for McNall bubbling around comes back to Dom Tia again Tia plays it for O'Donnell turns to Blythe O'Donnell takes a shot it's blocked oh, how lucky and, we're living oh, there the I reflection know. fell right to them uh, 4 or 5 really good moves in close-ish things um, Southwest Sporting House does Tia's loan end after this match I'd suspect it probably I, does I think it finishes about I've written roughly about the 9th of November when he signed so I think you, you're probably right yeah. Southwest Sporting good chance now it's bobbled around then turn out it's a great challenge from Jordan Hickey and again oh, it's a shot what a goal Lemon have scored a goal from nothing they've hit the ball from 35 yards out it's thrown into the top corner out of absolutely nothing Lemon no ahead here across Park no, it, uh, it was Shell a shot. challenge. Uh, it was a challenge, and uh, the ball fell. And Lemon player haven't identified it yet. Just struck it. Brilliant, as it turns out. The Lemon players now three them around the referee. You know, the conference was up after the first ten minutes, quarter of an hour in this game, and uh, that's a body blow. Yeah. I mean, it's it's just unlucky. It's one of them. It's not unlucky because it was brilliant, but it, it same thing happened against Bradford. Blythe were playing well, and Bradford scored a screamer. 
out of nothing now. Jordan Hinton come forward for Blythe though. J.J. O'Donnell plays a button, make a little chance of Blythe, make a little oh, miss, hit it. Scuffed, it. scuffed the F at Nicholas. The empty ball forward. About 20 or so Leamington fans going in the goal they're attacking. Yeah, uh, Alex Mitchell's uh, goal kick short, and Leamington have a shot for the halfway line. It's, a goal. it's an absolute screamer. Mitchell's shot is short, goal, goal kick is short. Leamington get the ball, Mitchell's running back, he's took the shot, he's 40 yards out, left footed, it's flew into the top corner. Leamington are 2 0 up with two goals out of absolutely nothing, two screamers. I, I just can't believe what I've seen here at Croft Park. Be long before he's on the field. Michael Nelson there. Just watching on. Ball's flicked on. Gigi O'Donnell trying to come there. Now Corey McEwen drops it off. There's the shot for Blythe wide of the target. Lewis McNall left footed. Flicked on. And Stefan Morley's able to win the ball. Blythe fans not happy with Jack Lane who just was on the back of McNall. But now Leventon can come forward again on this right hand side. Cross is going to come over from Meredith. It's a good ball in. And oof. It's, it's a header one from now on the ball on this right hand side with Meredith. Meredith is really well to skip past Mike a little and he's coming forward for Leamington on this right hand side. On the edge of the area, it's going to be a crossing position. It comes all the way back. Post has a chance to tell it across and into the hands of Mitchell. Midfielder who never scores must be our day. It must be. <laughs> Everyone seems to be getting their day against Blythe at the minute. Needs to change and there's a chance again. There's a shot that's bobbled into the hands of Alex Mitchell. In for Alex Mitchell. Who plays a back for Nathan Buttle and it's just lofted forward. No one really getting there. Lewis McNall tries to win the header. Flick back on for Jordan Hickey back to McNall. McNall come forward for Blythe. It's sent wide for Little. Plays it across. Goal. Chance of Blythe. Shot. Goal. Oh, it's not. It's Corey Thompson turned. He had the shot. The goalkeeper's made the save. Just waiting for it to hit the back of the net. And Blythe Spartans have a corner. That's Blythe's best chance of the game. Yeah, it was. It, all intents and purposes, looked like it was going to go. I think he was just. It was a threat, wasn't it? Yeah, he was. Corner comes over, there's the header for Leamington, comes all the way out. Blythe Spartans going to try and see the ball out. And uh, it's actually a foul he's given in the end on Toby Lees. 